Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow. And as promised, I'm going to show you the other forms of Missy that you can get. These ones are a lot better than the other one, in my opinion, because they don't take forever to show up, and they're a lot easier to encounter, honestly. You just you literally encounter them, no problem. The game doesn't crash or anything like that. Um, the only hard part is the special stat to get these are a little bit high, and if you're not lucky with, um, the Pokemon you get at the beginning of the game, you can kind of get screwed over by this. Luckily, I have a Nidoking with the spe special stat I need, so that's okay. Usually, your Nidoking won't be past the area you need, which is 182, which is the first one I'm going to show, and my Nidoking is 182. I didn't show that, but I'll show you in a minute. And speaking of showing things, let me do this really quick. Alright, encounter him, and then I just want to show no cheating device. Very important. And <laughs> I feel like I forget sometimes. There was an episode where I had to edit it in to show that it was in there, which I don't like saying because it's like, oh, well, what if, what if you just edited out the things of showing up glitches and it's like, or showing up um, the um, cheats and it's just like, I, I'm not cheating, okay? I feel like it's pretty well known that these glitches are doable, but I just want to do my little take on it. I want to show credibility of being like I'm not using a cheating device. So yeah. Two Radicates, okay. But yeah, the three special stats I'm going to show there are three forms, other than the yellow one. And then of course the fifth one, the original OG from Red and Blue, is 182, 183, and 184. Like I mentioned, um, my Neo King is 182. And I'll show up here in a minute what else I have. Let me get out here really quick. Probably would have been faster using Escape Rope, believe it or not. Especially if I could... Yeah, it would take me to Celadon. It's like, oh, if it took me to Sandbar Island, that'd be great. But that's where we have to go because we have to use Ditto. So yeah, that's kind of the drill. <laughs> and I'm also going to do this real quick. This is kind of a test run thing here of trying this. They didn't think about doing it ahead of time. I'm just going to buy one, honestly. I'm going to use it right now, actually. <laughs> it's kind of sad. But... I remember when I did this on Virtual Console, technically, and and cartridge at one point. Um, I, I can't remember if it was the Max Repel or the Super Repel, but it was enough steps to get you to the basement, and it was great. Cause then you wouldn't have to bother with any encounters or anything like that. You can just walk straight there, which makes it really nice to show off like how to get there and what you need to do exactly, because it can get a bit confusing, especially if you're not paying attention exactly. Because I know there's a couple times where I accidentally hit the switch on the second floor and then it blocks me out. And then there was one time where I went down the wrong side of that, because I'm stupid, I guess. Yeah, I haven't battled that guy up there, so I'm trying to avoid that guy. Why? So yeah, definitely, um, <laughs> it wasn't Max Repel. The reason why I encountered something is because my Genosaur is not that high level in comparison to other stuff that's here. Which kind of stinks because that means I can't just like waste out time up here. I'll go here and do that really quick. Because I don't think I can encounter anything up here and I'll walk back up the stairs. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, don't use a max repel, that is too much. Like honestly I think a repel is good enough, yeah. And maybe a super repel, I don't remember which one, but I feel like a super repel would have been fine too. Okay, so now I'm not gonna find anything now? What the heck is this? Okay, that was crazy. I may get to a point of cutting this out, because it's just me speeding through a bunch of battles, but... Just to show it all in its entirety, what you have to go through. <laughs> and as I already said, I don't like making cuts unless I absolutely have to. Just the no cheating device thing, but <laughs> as I just stated, like, come on, these are real. There's no reason not to believe they aren't, honestly, at this rate. There are some intense glitches I've been on showing later that will definitely be suspect of, like, okay, come on, you gotta be using a cheating device, especially if you've never seen stuff like this before. Like, some of the stuff you can do in this game is unreal, in my opinion. Alright, I'm gonna start fighting these hosts. <laughs> I usually do that, it's actually a really good idea in my opinion, because that way you can grind up some levels on a Pokemon, especially if you can one-shot, it's just like free experience, especially on these Raticates, especially if you can get a one-shot, and it's just like, boom, easy experience, like level, <laughs> level 42, just like that. 
Usually my go-to for encountering this form is, you know, Charizard, because it's usually what I use to sweep the game, and it has decent special stats, so that's a good option. But like I said, usually, if you get lucky with the, um, Neo King, you can use that to get the desired special stat, which is, again, 182. And one thing that's noteworthy is to not really fight Dittos. There's no reason to. Just run away once they transform. Because I'm going to show off something that you can do that's going to help with getting the correct special stat. Because there's actually some difficulty of getting the correct special stat sometimes. Especially if you do it just by level up with like rare candies. Which, now that I'm here, I'll take a moment to show. So I have this cadaver here too. And it has a special stat of 180. And I forgot to level it up. Forgot I didn't save after doing that, but I had to make sure this worked out fine, so I needed to level this up once, and that should take it to 183. Awesome. So, once we finish with this one, 183 is the next one, and then I'll show you something cool you can do with special stat in this game, which is a big help, honestly. <laughs> like, without that, it'd be a real pain in the ass, honestly, because you have to get, like, a different Pokemon for each special stat you want, more often than not, unless you can set it up really well. <laughs> But with this way, you can do it pretty easily, especially for another batch. But anyway, before we get there, so we have a Kabutops form Missino here, which is, I guess, the second form. Second form, since it's the second one I'm showing off, sure. So it functions just like a normal Missino. So I put PP up there purposely because I want to use that, honestly. And then I'm going to switch it with Nugget and catch this one. So cause if you catch the Pokemon, it, you can duplicate it again. Which is quite nice. We need that. And this Missy No, like I said, is not a piece of crap. <laughs> I guess the correct terminology is stable. Now I'm gonna show off something interesting with this type of Missy No. I think it's all Missy No's. So notice how its type is psychic, which is really weird. And then it has these moves. And it's just it's really strange. So like I don't know if it's because I sent out the Venusaur and it took the moves from the Venusaur. And I don't know if it's like psychic typing because like, Kadabra was the last thing I looked at beforehand, I'm not sure. In a test run, it had the typing of Nidoking, and had the moves of Venusaur. So I'm going to test that theory a little bit further on the next form. But first, we're going to take it into battle. Let's show off something else that's pretty cool. Honestly, there's almost no reason to get the other form of Misty Note, unless you want to get a Pokemon that can downlevel <laughs> and be useless. But it is cool to have like that infinite amount of HP, and I feel like there's a couple other things you can do with it. But, well, this is actually isn't a very good Pokemon to test out on. Either way, we'll switch out and deal with this. The sprites are horribly corrupted, I'm sorry about that. But, I just wanted to show off that in here they don't down level, which is quite nice. Well, I guess I lied. Um, Missy Noh is weird. No, no, notice how, like, it has a lot of index numbers. I think Missy Noh, like, changes based on the Pokemon that it's around. Notice it's typing now. It's typing is the, um... The uh, Venusaur, for example. It still has the same moves, and it still has an insane amount of experience to level up. But I think it, like, it changes Pokemon. It's like a, uh, I don't know, like, kind of metamorphosis type deal, but it, like, changes. It's weird. It's something I've noticed. And it, it can, like, level up weirdly. Like, you notice how it down to six, but then, like, if I go against a different Pokemon, sometimes it'll up level to, like, nine and do other weird things. It's really strange. I'm gonna hold on to these and I'm gonna put these guys in a separate box. They're gonna go with box nine, just for the heck of it. Um, missing them. Gonna stay in there. Okay, cool. And then, whoops. Gonna grab. Fear is fine there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay. And then, I'm actually going to. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try and get a super repel. See if that'll work. Just test that out. I wanna show that off. Just to see, because it's, it's honestly really nice having a repel going through there. I'm also going to save up here, because I'm pretty good at the long range trainer glitch, but it sucks when you can't consistently do it. And I think recording also throws off my frame rate slightly. It's not as bad in here as it was in Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, but it's still a pain in the butt sometimes. But I'm usually pretty decent at it. It's really not that hard to pull off once you get it, get it down. I'm going to find the lavender first. There's some trainers in lavender I want to finish up. Now that I'm here and I'm thinking about it, let's show something off, actually. 
Actually, even for I'll do the I'll take that to the next level and even talk about something else. It's kind of stupid, honestly, but just because this is the way I wanted to show it. I've referenced it a lot, so I might as well show it. Gotta be careful though, because otherwise I'll screw it up. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. Definitely need to save state. No, this one will be fine. I haven't played in a little bit either way. Um, so I'm just gonna walk up and he's gonna see me, but then nothing happens. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm frozen. So this is what happens when you do not give the trainer room to walk up to you. And we're gonna take that a step further actually. Walk over here. And if you talk to him, same thing happens. And he looks away, which is funny. Sorry about that. I wanted to close something out that popped up. And anyway, so yeah, pretty much that's what happens when you talk to them. <laughs> it was funny they looked away. So just gotta be careful with that. I'm leaving that trainer over there because there is something I want to show off, and I like having trainers on this route for that reason. So we're gonna have a little bit of a sidetrack here, but that's okay. But I wanted to show that off because it is important to show you what's gonna happen, and that you really do it. Really need to avoid that because if you don't save for some reason. Or if you're on a roll and you're like doing a glitch and something like that blocks you, it's just really annoying, honestly. Here we go. But I'm finishing off this route because there's also a trainer, a long range trainer I might have mentioned that you can use on this route. And I might show that off. Oh crap, I forgot to revert sprites. It's okay though. <laughs> Coughing's facing the wrong way, which is funny. So used to seeing him face us and he's just looking the wrong way. And it explodes. But as I said in the last part, because this doesn't go away, honestly. Like, you'll see this a lot, pretty much the further you go in this game, honestly. It's just, like, anything with glitch Pokemon, you're going to see it. Just view the stats of Bulbasaur to get rid of it, or a Pokemon in your party. Now, since we fought a trainer, it's time to go back to Cinder Island. So, I don't think I finished my thought from earlier, but, so the, you know, I'll bring it up once we get closer. And I forgot to grab a Repel. Which is okay. Because I feel like from the time it took to get rid of the repel, it would, it's about the same amount of time it would take getting through here without one, honestly. I'm gonna speed through it though. Wow, okay. If I'm only gonna. <laughs> if I'm gonna encounter stuff every, what, three steps that was, maybe four, I might as well have gotten a repel. Usually, the encounter rate's not that bad. Like, honestly. This is a place I feel like has a pretty low encounter rate, more often than not. I don't know, the weird things are weird in this game. <laughs> like, encounter rate's one of them, like, I, I don't even know how um, wild encounters are determined in Pokemon. Because there's sometimes you'll walk into a place where you'd encounter stuff, of course, and you can walk for like almost an entire minute, and you won't even encounter anything. And it's like, where's a wild Pokemon? Like, hiding? What's the deal here? Whoops, did not mean to do that. So I'm gonna speed up the game through this. But anyway, so like you'll be trying to. I'm gonna try and pass this guy first, though. Oh, dang it. I wanna see if I can take him out. And you know what? It's a good thing I did that because I forgot to switch my items. Just in case I forgot. So, full restore. That's a really good option. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, max revive. Definitely recommend max revive because they get a limited number of those in this game. And then, of course, full restore because they're awesome. <laughs> Is there something else I was supposed to do? I feel like I derailed my train of thought there, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Burden time doing that. I, I like to battle in between battles, but maybe I shouldn't do that while I'm recording. Just because, like, you guys don't need to see that, honestly. It's like, times like this, I was like, oh, we should just cut it, but, I mean, sometimes it's fun <laughs> watching this. <laughs> how many freaking Pokemon the same I can get in a row. Oh, something I just thought of that I would like to mention. Um, when you have multiples of these items, because this is the reason why finding Missy Nose so nice, it's because, is this a fi oh, okay, I know I actually have 51. I thought that was like a 5-1 and it was actually a glitch number. Because like, you can see there, it's some symbol and then 7. And then like here, it's like the stairs and then 0. So that's just like the symbol. And I thought, like technically the, the numbers are a symbol. So it's like, oh, I thought it was like 51, which number, but not really. But um, 
You gotta be careful because like if I were to pick up another full restore, I would actually have two stacks of it. So it is important to be careful of stuff like that. I think with Master Ball, I'm never gonna have that problem again because you only get one Master Ball in the game. You also don't want to deposit stuff in the box because if you do that, you'll actually make multiples that way too. Multiple stacks. And it's not too ideal. Let me just double check because it's really important to one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I miscounted again. So that's four, five, six. Okay. So the next form, I feel like some might be able to predict what this is since we had the Kabuto, Kabutops form of Missy No. And once we see this one, I'll explain where they come from. And it's the Aerodactyl form, which these come from the, um, the, the Rock Museum, if you will, in Peter City. We'll just call it the Rock Museum, because honestly, that's what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's like a space. Like, they also have like space stuff there, too, which I think is interesting. Okay, so next five's there, and then just catch it. But like, it's so nice being able to encounter these missing nose because it's just the best way to get items, honestly. Oh yes, okay. I just need to make sure... I'm trying to keep notes of stuff I need to do. I need to multiply rare candy again, for sure. Because I used a lot. And then, our oh, nuggets, cool. Okay, well, that's everything. So I'm just gonna do that. And then, another thought just popped in my mind. It's really important to make sure you don't accidentally multiply key items, because it does still multiply key items. You'll just have, um, so you know it adds 128, so you have 129. It won't show that, but you still will have that many. Um, something that I'll show later. I did something like that with a fossil, <laughs> to um, because you need a fossil to set up the foot. You don't need it, but fossil is the most used for it. And it's really important to have an excess of fossil so you can keep doing it if you want to. But it was a pain in the butt to have that many, and it's really complicated. And that's what this video is about. But I will show that at some point too. Don't worry. So as you can see here, it has moves of of the Firo and it has the type of the Venusaur, so I'm assuming that's what it faced, that's what it gets. And I'm assuming it, whatever it goes up against, it like steals information from it. Because I'm assuming this, since this Shanshru is, you know, whatever, it has its own IVs and values and whatever. If I beat this, I wonder if it's gonna like up level or down level one, two. We'll see. I'm just curious to see the trend here, if there is any. Oh, didn't even go up. Like, you notice the last one, it went down, which is funny. And then, while I'm here, I'm going to look at it again. So, like, now it's normal flying. <laughs> so, it's just funny. Let me get the stats of Cloyster here. The Cloyster isn't important, I just have it in here, just letting you know. But there is something really important I'm going to show off here in a minute. But I'm just going to deposit this um, missing now. I like having open space in the box for it. Oops. For the next one. So that was 183, by the way. Okay, we're good there. Just taking tabs here, making sure I don't screw up. Okay. So, the important thing I need to show here. So, like I said, there's a couple ways I could go about this. But the best way, in my opinion, is to use this Kadabra. So, I leveled up this Kadabra. <laughs> As you saw, I, I did the last level with the rare candy, but I literally just caught this. It was a Abra level 15. Evolved it with rare candy and then just kept leveling it up until it was like 180. <clears throat> you saw that. And then. <sighs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so I leveled up with um, rare candies, and if you didn't know, rare candies doesn't really give any effort points. It doesn't give any at all, actually. And effort points, or EVs, are what you can use to exploit this. <clears throat> and when you do it with just up level up by rare candy, it's really easy to exploit because there's it's like a clean slate. It's like I just caught this Pokemon, even though I didn't. So, we're going to go to a battle here, it's exactly the Pokemon I wanted. You're going to want to try and find a Pokemon that will give you special when you beat it. Um, special EVs. That Blail Sprout's a pretty, pretty good one, as far as I know. I feel like you can use any Pokemon, honestly. I don't think it matters in this game, because they all have, like, it all seems like they have, like, their own version. <laughs> or, like, they all give, like, a mesh, or a mixture of... EVs, but I could be wrong about that. It just seems like, because something else I want to point out that's not really too important, but if anyone's been paying attention, my Nidoking's stats have been going up ever since I caught it, and as well as its HP, and that's because of all the EVs it's been getting in battles, and if anyone who's caught a Nidoking will notice that too, the level 100 one anyway. So that's why that happens, and because of that, I put this, um, cadaver in the box, 
hopefully it should work. It worked off screen, so we're gonna deposit. But then withdraw it immediately after that. You don't have to, it doesn't matter when you do it, it's just it needs to go in the PC or you can even give it to like the daycare man, but this way it's easier. And it's 184 magically. It just his <laughs> special just went up. Just like that. So that's awesome, because that's exactly what we need. We need that special stat. And what I was getting to earlier in the video, that I couldn't I have not gotten to yet, is that I'm gonna show the glitch Pokemon, the ones that you can obtain via the Ditto glitch or long range sharing glitch or Mew glitch, however you want to call it. And this is really helpful for that, because they are the special stats between in this game and all all generation one is between 191 and 199. That's essentially where you'll find the Switch Pokemon. And I will get to those, don't worry. But um, I wanted to bring that up because that is like one of the best ways to be able to get a Pokemon to consistently get all those. And I've done that. See, that's why you save, because you might mess up. I might focus the next time. I don't want to waste too much time trying to get that. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's whatever, honestly. That one's perfect. It might have been faster to honestly fly to Saffron, I was debating that in my head, but we'll just speed. Because I'm worried about one of the trainers over here, but we'll I'll worry about that later, honestly. So over here. Did I bottle her? Okay, I bottled her off screen a little while ago for a video, but I couldn't remember if I kept that or not, but nope. I'm speed up a little bit. Um, I don't actually want you to king in front right now. Come on, Cloyster. Show off <laughs> that derpy back sprite. Yeah, I'm using Cloyster because I have not used Cloyster before, honestly. I never have in Generation 1 and it barely did in Generation 3. And it's just, I wanted to use it. It's kind of cool. I was thinking of a water type to use that I never used and Cloyster's what came to mind. I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon, honestly. I was going to be dumb and say, oh, I'm glad it's outspeeding these Pokemon, but it is doubling them by. <laughs> doubling in the level, so it would be kind of pathetic if it didn't. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I didn't pick up a Repel this time, but it's okay. don't really need it. But I do recommend doing that. It will save you some time, honestly. Especially if you get the right one. I feel like a normal Repel would be too little. Unless you, like, came in here and was smart and, like, started it right here. And, like, maximized your steps. You could probably work it. But I feel like a Super Repel is best. Because I usually just try to apply it, like, as soon as I land. And then, that way it's usually enough. Okay, I don't want Neo King in the front. Like, it doesn't really matter, but... I'd prefer if Neo King wasn't in front. I'm sitting here. <laughs> spending more time. Jeez. Actually, now I think about it, I do want to show something off. It's kind of stupid. It's just, like, there's one more form I'm missing though left, though. 184, and I want to see what comes up when I have Cloyster fight the Ditto. Not fight the Ditto, but initially against the Ditto, I guess you could say. Or even better, go against the um, actual missing No when it shows up. The reason why I'm saving that trainer there is because sometimes it's nice, you'll, you'll accidentally fly here when you're not paying attention, and it's nice to have a trainer that can bail you out. So I try to maximize the amount of trainers that are left over here. So that's a good strategy. And the guy that's over there to the right, I also haven't fought him, and he's there for that reason too. Can you take out? Can you take, well, can you take him out though? Sweet. He can't outspeed him, he's too slow. I figured that was the case. Okay, this isn't related to the video, but that's just for my own personal sake. I wanted to see if Cloyster can take out these guys in one hit, and also outspeed, but they can't outspeed because he's a little slow. But I do recommend doing this, because I mean, it's just an easy experience. And this game's actually kind of hard, especially if, especially if you avoid all the trainers you can. Like, technically I'm not at the end of the game. Let me show you really quick. But like, I'm basically there. I could, I could beat both of the... Um, both Sabrina and Blaine if I want. And then it's like, okay, then there's Giovanni, and then like, all that's left is Victory Road, and I feel like I don't have a really good enough team, because usually the Pokemon levels in this game are a lot higher than you expect them to be. <laughs> like, seriously, I think the champion has like, Pokemon that are in the 60s almost. Alright, we got that. Sorry I'm rambling too much. So here's 184. Let's see what we get here. Speed my way up there. I just like to be efficient and fast. <laughs> but 
But yeah, as you can see, it's the ghost form. It still has that. Um, <sighs> I don't even know what cry that is. I feel like I'm blanking on it. Like, I don't think it's a Nidoran cry, but it sounds like a Nidoran cry, so I'm not sure. We got rare candy. I pretty much have everything maxed now, which is great. I still have the gold teeth. I want to do something fun with that later, but we'll see. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have escape ropes, because those are nice to have, but whatever. I'm just gonna catch it. To have it. Cause, yeah, unfortunately I hadn't said it yet, but they don't keep, like, the awesome back sprite. Front sprite's still the same. I believe so. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I'm... They don't seem to show up here. Okay. I'm pretty sure they keep their front sprite, but I'm not positive. We'll show him off just to see. I didn't see what his, um... <laughs> what his typing was. Yeah, ice water, so... I guess whatever it goes up against, it steals the type. And it has the moves of whatever it was. Um... Okay, it also has the moves of whatever... Okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> Because it didn't seem consistent with a couple other things, but no, I swear in the test run video that I had, it had the moves of my Nido King. No, it has the typing of my Nido King and had the. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up! I just realized something here. Okay, so this is technically a cloister right now because it has the moves that cloister would know, I believe. Because it's not, it didn't take the moves completely. Like we we saw that from like the other ones, level eight. So this one went up. Or maybe it's a shelter. Who knows? But like in the one, we saw that it had the basic moves of Bulbasaur or Venusaur, or whatever one. So maybe that's what it is. It just takes the moves and it becomes that Pokemon, if you will. And then its typing might be based on whatever it encounters. But as you see there, it's still Ice Water. I, I don't see why. It's I need to look into that more. I might show something about that at some point. We'll see. I'm just gonna deposit in here. It's the collection I have. The, I should say, the reason why I didn't keep my um, save. Oh, I didn't save after I caught the. Um, I don't wanna say the legitimate missing now. Whoops. I got him here. <laughs> I like how it's like 6, 7, 8. That's funny. Anyway. Um, wait. The reason why I didn't keep the save when I catch the, the legitimate Missy No, like the yellow Missy No, I'll call it the unstable one. I just don't like how it changes the time. I like having the time in there, just to show. That was quite literally the reason why. That, that was literally it. it. It wasn't like, oh, that Missy No is dangerous or something. Like, it, obviously, you can't really do much with it, but it was just, I don't like how it changes the time. That was literally it. <laughs> just me being quirky, but that's honestly all for now. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.